Hello there. What? Hello there, Pills of YouTube. My name is Billy Bob Jeff CJ Bob's 50th, and welcome to uh, Open Emulator. Today we're going to be playing Donkey Kong for the Game Boy. Now, um, I like this game a lot. The first time I experienced it was um, actually on the 3DS eShop. I have it on my 3DS, and I had a whole lot of fun with it, and I'm a lot better at it now than I was before. And we're going to do a Let's Play on it. So, we already have a new file ready to go here. I'm not sure if this is going to be a full Let's Play because, um, you know, I haven't made a full Let's Play yet because I'm a smart and responsible YouTuber. And there's Danky King and all his Game Boyish goodness. Now, you may be looking at this and you may just be thinking, Chandler, this is just the arcade game. What are you doing? Except there are several differences. First off, Mario has some new moves. So, for example, if you duck and jump, you can walk around on your hands, and then you can do a handstand jump, which is higher than a normal jump. You can also press B to get rid of the hammer if you want it. And also, if you change directions and press the jump button at the same time, you can get squashed by a barrel and die. Isn't that a whole lot of fun? No, but if you uh, change directions really fast and press the jump button at the same time, you could do this backflip move, which I like a lot. And it allows you to do some fancy stuff like that. And being fancy, let me tell you, Mario in this game, he is so much fun to control. He's got very fun and interesting moves. He can do a whole lot of things. It's it's just it's just really great. I love how Mario plays in this game. All right, so I'm just gonna avoid this obnoxious fire dude. And there we go. That's level. That that that's that's level done. Wow. Chandler learned to English. <coughs> I apologize for my sickliness. All right, seventy-five meters. Let's do this. So, uh, another thing about Mario's handstand is, if anything hits you from above while you're in handstand mode, then it'll just automatically die because it's apparently not Mario jumping on things that kills them. But no, it's just anything that touches his feet is dead. Look at Dank King. He's all confused. He's like, what? How are your feet so magical? And then Mario's like, come at me, bro. That's a dead meme. Alright, so... Dang it, I missed one. Also, um... Hold on. Uh, I, I've got to show something off here. Frick. Well. Death. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and save here, because if you run into Donkey Kong, he kind of just chucks you and kills you. Alright, so yeah, that's why I saved. Frick. Alright, come on. Alright, so this is actually my second attempt recording this. And on my first attempt, I did this level first try. Why I'm not able to do it now, I don't know. Get the purse. Alright. Frick. Hammer time. Alright, come at me, bro. That guy's gonna be a pain in my butt. Alright, there we go. Got it. Boosh. Die. Alright, there we go. And then... Dead. Yay, we saved her girlfriend. But uh, then Donkey Kong is like, Psh, no. She's mine, loser. Come after me. And then Mario's like, yes, okay, I will. And then, now's where we get into the, the new stuff. The incredibly, the puzzle-based gameplay. With keys, and Mario picking it up, and then he, and then he has to get to the door. And there are some, let me tell you, there's some very interesting and fun puzzles in this game. It's, it's, this game is a whole lot of fun. Alright. And welcome to World 1, the big city. So, as you can see, Donkey Kong is in that level. There are, uh, cer there are groups of levels in each world. Every four levels, there will be a Donkey Kong level. But for right now, we're not in Donkey Kong, though. So you can press the B button to pick things up, and you can throw it at other things to kill them. And also, in each level, there are the purse, the hat, and the umbrella from Pauline. 
And if you collect them all, then you'll get a bonus game at the end of the level, which allows you to get some lives. Now let me tell you, getting lives in this game is stupidly easy. Like, to the point to where I had 60 lives halfway through World 2, and the maximum is 99. So, it's, yeah. So now you just have to come over here, grab the key, and uh, while you're doing the key, you can't do any of your special moves like the handstand or the um, backflip. So, there are puzzles mainly based around that. And, um, yeah. Alright, so here's an example of a bonus game. Yeah, okay, one life. That's not too bad. Alright, stage 1-2, let's do this. I'm going to play up to stage 1-4, and then I'm going to end the episode. Alright, so not only do you, can you kill things by picking up trash cans and throwing at them, but if you throw enemies at trash cans, it kills both of them. Alright, so these wires, if you hold up, you can like do a, you can like swing around and fling yourself up in the air. And also these mice can apparently climb on walls and ceilings. Don't know what that's about. You could also kill things with the key. Frick. Frick. No. <sighs> yeah, if you, if you lose the key for too long, then it'll just respawn at its original point. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to show this in this level, but you can also um, kill things with the key. If you hold up while you press the throw button, then um, then Mario will throw the key up. This will allow you to throw it up to places that you can't jump to, and then you can like backflip or climb up ladders to get to it again. Alright, doing pretty well. Uh, this is the other kind of bonus game. It's kind of like a roulette, and you have to see how many lives you can get. Come on. Alright, two lives isn't too bad. We haven't, we're only in level 3 and we're already almost up to double digits in lives. Alright, so just kill these fire things, that will make getting the hat a lot easier. Boosh, yes. Frick, nope. Alright, well, who? And trash monster! You know what, trash monster? Die, trash monster. And uh, how you get this purse is you just ride the moving platform. It's not too hard. Getting the, the shoot, getting the purse and um, parasol and hats are usually not too hard. All right, so what I'm just so frick. Wow, guys, aren't you just so good at video games? All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave the key until it's time to exit the level. That way I can duck and get this freaking purse. Oh my gosh. How am I so bad? Alright. Come here. Alright, now just duck so that you don't get so that you don't get zappity zapped. And then you can just grab the key, throw it up, backflip, pick up the key, and then bam, level done. Alright. First Donkey Kong level, let's do this. Hopefully there's not as much fail. <sighs> Alright, so there is fall damage in this game. If you fall too far, you will die. Because it's not like Mario's platforming character or anything. Alright, so basically the goals of every Donkey Kong level is just to get to falling at the end. You're essentially playing actual Donkey Kong just with new moves and some puzzle elements. Uh, jump whenever he does the shockwave because if you're in the air when he does when he does the jump, then uh, you won't be stunned. Oh uh, shoot! Yeah. Right. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. All right. Wow. I sure am good at video games, aren't I? Whatever, I, st I still got 11 lives. I think I got this. Can I just backflip up here? No, I can't. Right, so, um, another thing that you could do to, to kind of try to avoid the trash is you could do a um, handstand. Because then, oop. Or you could just handstand jump directly into a piece of trash and die. And to think, I thought that I was good at this game. Alright, come on. Nobody cares. What are we, trash? Alright. 
Don't think that any trash is coming down on me. Alright. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Got it. Alright, guys. This has been Chen. Actually, you know what? Uh, should I end it now? How long have I been recording? Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna end it now. Alright, guys, this has been Chandler Plays Donkey Kong 94, Donkey Kong 1994, Donkey Kong for the Game Boy, whatever you want to call it. This has been Chandler Plays That. I hope that you guys have enjoyed. I might make another episode. I might not. It depends on how I feel. But for right now, I'm gonna end it. This has been Billy Badger Studio Bot 50th, signing out.